Hey guys, what's up and welcome to today's episode of Kawaii Cooking. We are going to be doing the Tenoshi Waffle Kit. Now this is super cute. And it doesn't require any baking. It's basically just pressing everything into the mold and decorating. <sighs> My favorite part. The only unfortunate thing about this is there, there are a lot of jellies. And if you know me, you know my kawaii cooking videos, I hate the jellies. They're quite difficult to get perfect, but I am going to try my best. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Ooh, ASMR goodness. You like that? I wish someone would massage me the way I massage this poppin' cooking bag. <laughs> We're gonna be using a plate, but if you don't have a fancy plate and you're not filming a video, you could use the packaging. So when you're cutting along the edge, make sure you don't cut in to the packaging. Crazy is really nice and they like to like make everything uh, usable with their kits. Let's see what we have in here. Ooh, we have a yellow packet. Ooh, two yellow packets. I imagine this is for the batter. This is the cocoa dough. We have a watermelon cream powder, a blueberry sauce powder, and a cranberry jelly powder, along with some sprinkles, a plastic bag that we're gonna put the blueberry jelly in, a little tiny spoon, and then of course our trays for mixing and molding. We're gonna start with the yellow dough first, so we'll put all of these guys off to the side until we need them for later on. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this little water guy for me, my little water scooper and then everything else in this tray. Let's just get it done and out of the way. First thing, first. Not gonna lie, this kind of puts me in zen mode. There's like little lines I can follow. So we're gonna take our clover tray and add one little scoopful of water and then add the dough packet into it. Let's go. I just scoop and ploop. Not poop, it's ploop. There's a difference. Stop it, don't look at me like that. Be professional for what's in your life. You disgust me. You! Wonder what this is gonna smell like. Probably like butter. Cream dough powder. It's supposed to smell like cream. Mmm, it's like a vanilla creamy dough. Vanilla cream dough. And this is gonna be a little bit of a chore. We have to mix this up until everything is combined. We have to roll out this dough. We gotta knead it. Oh, you thought popping cooking was easy? This is Food Network status. You better jump in. Let's get some ASMR moments in here. Can you guys hear this? Oh, it smells really good. Just gotta just keep on smushing it. I know it's gonna look like you need more water, but whatever you do, don't. Add more water. Pop and cook in 101. Always follow the directions. So now that I have all the little granules inside the dough, or at least on top of it, I'm like gonna smoosh it in to make sure I get every last little piece and bit. It's not smooshing, it's kneading. Be professional. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know where that came from. I <laughs> So Did you have your coffee yet? I didn't. I can tell. We all can. Right, Larry? Get out of here. <laughs> Larry, why do you sound like that? Larry, are you, have you had your coffee, Larry? You're, so, you're supposed to be over here, Larry, but you're over there. I have a cold. Okay, I'm mixing this together. I'm gonna do this again because I have two yellow packets because we're gonna be making three waffles. But as you can see, I'm just kind of mixing it all together. You wanna get rid of any granules that are left in the dough because they'll mess up the mold, basically. Just keep squishing it together like this and you'll be all right. Kinda looks like a chicken nugget. Quick, get me some barbecue sauce. They should make a chicken and waffles candy kit. Oh, that's such a good idea. Yummy Nummy's but chicken like... kit, chicken <laughs> nugget kit, and then we No, get... oh, ew, no, no. That was so, we had to stop. We had to stop doing them. I felt sick after that. I The only candy kit company I trust is Crazy. We do do those other ones. The Heart. The Heart. Heart and Crazy are the only ones I trust. Yo, we got so sick from the, what was it called? Yummy Nummies. Yummy Nummies. I think it, they just had a lot of dye in them and ended up getting us really sick. Okay, this is really, I've kneaded this together. I wanted it to be a little bit more smooth, like how it is in the picture, but I think it's almost impossible to get it that smooth. This one is tough. We tried doing this before in the archives, 
and it was a really old kit and they expire. I didn't even know they could expire, but they do. It just did not go well. So this is our revamped version. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this into the mold. I'm gonna kind of put it in a, in a heart shape already and spread it out and push it down. Definitely has a little bit of a stretch to it, so you can you can play with that. Really squish it into every crevice. This is your time to make it shine. You really want it to look like a heart waffle. Do your best. Holy smokes, my dudes. I didn't know. This is gonna like waffle press. We're gonna actually waffle it. I thought it was just molding it, but I gotta cut this off. It has like the arrows. We're gonna do this. Did you know that? Don't look at me like that. Okay, that looks pretty good, I think. That looks as perfect as perfect can be. Let's go ahead and fold it across and smush it on in, and we'll see what happens here. You can see it coming off the edge a little bit. I just want it to be even. Here's the real test. Let's see what it looks like. Is everyone's butt clenched? Press one in the chat if your butt is clenched. Here we go. <gasps> oh, yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, that is a good looking waffle. We're gonna go ahead and place this right here, just off to the side. Repeat all those steps and do it again. Y'all ready for this? Butt clinch, ready to go? Oh, hello, lovely. That is looking great. <laughs> Lena hates when I do that. <laughs> that looks like breakfast. All right, we're gonna do the exact same thing all over again for the brown waffle, and I'm just gonna turbo on through it. One scoop of water. This is the cocoa powder dough. Hope it smells like chocolate milk. I'm excited. Everyone shut up. Larry. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that smells like chocolate milk. That smells good. Oh, the chocolate one's probably gonna be my favorite. Although I'm a little weirded out that we're not cooking these. It's like just straight up like dough. I like when we microwave them. Feels like I'm actually cooking. <laughs> Yo, can you hear those crunchies? I love that crunchy sound. The chocolate dough is gonna take a little extra kneading just because it's a darker color. Really want to make sure you get any of those white specks from the from the powder out. Just really get in there, you know? Give it a good, nice little massage. Now for the real test. Will it waffle? Right, everyone? Butt clenched? Ready? Whoa! That thing just boinked up. That looks pretty good. <gasps> GG's in the chat. For a perfect waffle! Let me clean it up, then I'll place it with its brother and sister. Oh, yes. Sit at the plate of waffle greatness. Yo, that looks pretty good. I'm really impressed. That looks great. Now let's move on. Next up is the cranberry jellies, which is the red packet. We're gonna add one scoop of water into the little note tray and then uh, spoon the cranberry mix into this little Dragon Ball Z mold over here. And we're not gonna use all of it, so don't feel like you need to like really fill them up because we wanna leave a little bit left in here. And then it's gonna take 10 minutes to set. So let's get started and let's get to sniffing. It's my favorite part. What? Don't, I like to smell it. You know I love, I'm gonna put the scissors down. You need to calm down over there. Ooh, ooh, smells like cherry slushy. <gasps> I love a good cherry smell. All right, let me pour this in. Just a quick note, before you add the water, you need to do this quick because it starts setting very, very fast. You'll have 10 minutes for it to completely set, but don't take your time. It'll mix quickly and then just start spooning stuff in. Look at me, I'm gonna eat my words. It's, I'm gonna mess this up, I know. I always do, I take too much time. One scoop, and then let's go speed racer it. Ah! Such a tiny bowl, I can't go so fast. Oh, it kinda smells like fruit punch now. I just keep mixing until I don't hear any more little granules, Ooh, which is right now. Let's start spooning this stuff in. Oh, are you guys seeing that? That was satisfying, for me at least. I don't know if it was satisfying for you guys. It just like dropped in perfectly. Wowza. That looks so good. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Okay, everyone calm down. That's what happens, you have to go quick. If you don't, that wouldn't have been as perfect. All right, I'm gonna move this off to the side ever so gently. 
Next up is the watermelon cream, which I'm really excited about because watermelon's like one of my favorite fruits. And I imagine this is gonna smell absolutely delicious. Even though it says watermelon, I bet you it's more of a honeydew. So we've been only using one scoop of water up until now. We're about to go crazy. We're going for the double scooper. One, two, into the clover tray. And that's how it's done. Ready for my favorite part. The sniff test. Aw, oh, man. It just smells like dough. I knew it was gonna be like more of a melon. It's not watermelon, it's more of like a honeydew. You can't smell it. I bet you I'll be able to smell it once I put it in the water. Once we add it in, maybe the smell will intensify. Oh, there she is. Welcome to the party. They said watermelon cream, but it's a melon cream. Making sure I mix in all the little granules. Smells so good. This smells amazing. I'm so excited to try this. Okay, that looks pretty good. We'll set this off to the side because I think we're done with this. I'm gonna have to take this red cranberry jelly and put it on the plate because I need this for my blueberry stuff. I need to use this tray to mix it. So I'm gonna stack these waffles up a little bit. Kind of like how it is on the box. Just make a little bit of room. And what they did on the box is they like basically crunched up the jelly. It's like crushed jelly and then Kind of just put it right there. Ooh, I wanna try this. Whoa, 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 it's tasty. So the box says we could also cut it up into little squares. They could be little squared guys. They're giving me a lot of options. Should I just crush it? Should I go for the crushed little jelly? We're gonna go for that. Ooh, whoa. Whoa, look at that. It's a little perfect musical note. Oh, it smells so good. You guys want me to crush it, but look how cute it looks. Wait, I kind of have an idea. I like to try and make my candy kit match the box, but the best thing about this is like you putting your own spin on it. I'm gonna add some of this melon cream in here. Then I'm gonna place this little jelly note right on top. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right. Mm. We're now on to our last packet, which is the blueberry sauce. And you're gonna add one little scoop into the musical note tray. One scoop of water. One scoop of what, Megan? What are you talking about? One scoop of, give me something. Poop. You need to grow up. Freaking Larry, I can't with him. He's just out of control. Wonder if this smells good. Yeah, it smells like blueberry syrup. It smells so good. Oh, that's gonna be great. I'm gonna pour that all in there. Mix it up, and then we're gonna place it into our little pop and cook in plastic bag. Let's take this little pop and cook in bag. Place the jelly in. Oh man, it's starting to uh, really jellify. That looks crazy. So I'm just gonna kind of push it all into a corner and then twist it, because we're gonna cut this little bit right here, kind of like pipe it onto the plate, make it look crazy. So I guess it's time to decorate, guys. I think we're ready to go all in. <sighs> I'm nervous. It's a lot that I want to be perfect. I'm gonna start with this melon cream, like as if it's like whipped cream. I'm gonna add like a little bit on here. Maybe some on this guy too. And then they kind of just put all of it just on the side somewhere. Oh, that's what they do on the Food Network. Let's grab some of this jelly, place these on. You just kind of got to get an edge out. Whew. Hey, not bad. That looks pretty good. Placing one in there. This is the best jelly work I've ever done. I'm not kidding. This is the best I've ever done. All right, I'm gonna place this here. This guy right at the end here. It's just like a little jelly trail. I can put this last jelly over here on the chocolate waffle. Then I think it's time for some syrup and we'll do the sprinkles last. Wow, I'm getting really into this. <laughs> Sprinkle time. Yo, I'm getting into this. I'm like that salt guy, but with sprinkles right now. Wait, it's like this, right? Oh my gosh, he slides it down his arm? <laughs> That's really hard, how does he do that? I'm concerned for him. I think that looks good. Who wants to go to IHOP? A 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's the time you've all been waiting for, the moment that you've all been timing for, the taste test. It's my second favorite, right after the sniff test. Oh man, it's like, it's like, like wet though, you know? Like Ew. it's, like look at, it's like, you know? Stop that! Stop it! All right, I'm gonna go for this corner bite, because it has the jelly, the cream, and a sprinkle. I'm gonna give it a little dip in this other jelly. Let's go for it. Mm. Texture. Oh, melon, best part. Waffle, no bueno. Ugh. I just concentrate real hard. It'll melt. Guys, I have to chew this so much. <sighs> Ooh, I'm not gonna try the vanilla one. Cause it's, you're gonna make- What, you're not gonna try the vanilla one? You have to do it. You have to do it for the people. I hate you. <laughs> this does not taste very good. The melon cream is the best part, but the taste of this is not. Like the texture of the waffle is just so weird. It's like cold and it tastes like I'm eating a dough. It tastes like a, like a jelly candy. And I don't really like jelly candies. The melon cream, I will eat plenty of. Like the melon cream, that is so good. The waffle itself, not a tasty treat. But I will say that this was a really fun kit to do. Decorating was probably my favorite part. It was probably the easiest kit I've ever done in terms of following the instructions and putting everything in the molds and it turning out exactly how it looks in the photo. I think this is the closest one we've ever done. If you want to uh, do a kit and not fail, this might be right up your alley. If you like this video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. It lets us know that you want more. Hit subscribe so you know when I post new videos. And if you want to binge watch a ton of kawaii cooking, I will leave a link to a playlist down below. That's all for me. Time to throw this in the trash. Bye.